Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise Make Art, and welcome to our Thursday night rock and pour collaboration. Tonight we have our normal lineup. I'll be kicking off in a minute. We have Lori Houston at 645. At 7 we have Angela Bliss and at 715 we have Amber Goodwin. And tonight we're on freestyle, so not sure what we're all going to deliver, but I bet it's going to be good. So let's get started. Hi, everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKee Art, and I'm back for another spinner. Now, I've prepped the bottom, I tape up the bottom, and then I also secure the spinner, so when I have it on the spinner, it doesn't spin, if that makes sense. And I did not varnish it this time, because there's varnish on here, and I'm not going to kill myself doing extra steps I don't might not need to do. So I'm going to see how this works. So, without any further ado... Um, I'll have all the colors listed in the description, and I'll call them out as I go. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. So this is the Multi Pro PPG. The number is forty-seven three one one zero. Let me get enough of this down. Let's see, let's see where we are. Give it a quick spin. I think that's enough. Okay, first color is my Titan, Pale Titan Green by Golden. Now, if you're saying this palette is a similar palette that I've done before, you're right. Is I'm using up all the paints because this color palette is great and I don't want to uh, you know waste the colors and this color combination is just working and I just want to play and make another Lazy Susan. These things have been doing well. I probably need a little more green. Let's get it all as much as I can off. Okay, the next color is my gold. This is 24 karat gold and iridescent gold by Golden. And if you stayed around and you've been tuned into me, what color is going to be next? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be so predictable. Yes, my Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold. One of one of my favorites. And I hear a nasty rumor that this is being discontinued, and I don't know why. Why would you discontinue something that's such a good color? I don't know. Okay, so after that, I've got my Chantilly Lace Iridescent Bronze, uh, Iridescent Pearl combination from Golden. So the Chantilly Lace is Prism Pour. And I have a bug flying around. Please go away. Bronze, Iridescent Bronze by Golden. So this is mostly the same recipe, uh, uh, this is mostly the same colors I've used on a CD, on a 24 inch clock, with the exception of this last color. I had been using the Iron Oxide my uh, micaceous iron and I was going to use it for this and then I changed my mind at the last minute because because I've mentioned in the prior videos it gives this chalky or spray painted look which in my opinion is cool for a clock 
but not cool for something you're going to maybe be serving food on or something that's going to be in the kitchen. You don't want to have it look spray painted. There's the bug. So that's why I ended up changing it up. Cell activator, the white. And the black. And we'll get the hairdryer going in a second. So I've turned the volume down and I'm recording this at regular speed. I have the hairdryer without the concentrator on high and cool. So you're just going to see me blowing this out in all directions, trying to get that hair dryer behind the cell activator as I start to blow each one of the petals out. Also, I am on a step stool, which gives me a little better angle on the cell activator as I'm blowing it out. It just helps me out. As Meatloaf would say, I'm going to stop right there before you go any further blowing into the pillow paint. So in this little section, I'm just waiting for the cell activator to re-emerge in the center to bounce back. All right, everyone, I'm going to jump ahead a lot here because I'm just pulling the paint to the edges and waiting for the center to come back. Okay, I think we're good. Let's give it a little inaugural spin and see what we get. It's looking very pretty. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, we're over the edge here. Almost there. Kind of helping it along. So I really would like to have a little negative space on this guy. That's why I didn't I was very stingy on the pillow. Enough to get the blow out, but not so much I'm chasing it. I love it so far. Let it run for a minute, get all the sides covered. It's all by itself. It's magical, magical. Let's see if I can do something over here without making it look too tortured. I don't know if I like that. Ugh. So I'm picking up the pace here, double timing, and I'm focusing on Mr. Spot right there. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I can incorporate that in. And I try to play with it to work him into the piece. And then I decide, you know what? He just needs to be eliminated because he just does not go or flow with what I've got. So for a good portion of this section here, I'm going to be playing with a palette knife and blowing with the straw and trying to get the composition a little more to my liking all the while trying to keep in mind to maintain some negative space. So for a good bit of this section, I'm just going to put on music and let this roll. So at this point, I know I'm going to have a negative space in the end, but I don't want to have them be just blank spaces. So that's when I'm going to take the palette knife and the straw, and I'm going to fill them in just ever so slightly 
to give it a little flow through that negative space. So through this section, I'm just cleaning up the bottom. I'm going to skip ahead and you want to make sure you clean the bottom so that the paint stops pulling down from the sides. And oh, I did not check the middle. I need to check the middle too. I'm just rambling along here. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Hardly any in the middle. This thing is spread out and done. Okay, I'm going to do some cleaning up here, and I will just stop the camera. I'll show you when, I, when I'm done. So that's a wrap of the creation. Here are the wet results, and I just wanted to take a really good flyover to show you all that's going on in here with the amazing lacing, the blending of colors, the cells, all of it. It is just, in my opinion, really quite a piece. And you'll see the resin results at the end. It is stunning. I don't often say that about my pieces, but I have to say it about this one. And here are the resin results. Needless to say, I am tickled pleased about how this turned out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up before you go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. At the end of the video here, I'm gonna have a link to more turntables. And be sure we're gonna to go to Lori Houston Art next. Her link is in my description. And also stay tuned for Angela Bliss at seven and Amber Goodwin at 7.15. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.